This is something called the period game. It's a new board game idea that aims to teach young girls about menstruation in an inventive new way. The actual board will replicate the look of the female reproductive system. Players traveling around it, they're gonna be able to choose pieces in the shape of everything from a tampon, a pad, underwear, even a menstrual cup. Thoughts? Um, apparently even, you know, marbles that are two ovaries. There are a lot of interesting things, Dr. Altman, in this game. You know, I think this could be a lot of fun for like a middle school health class to get okay. the students used to using the words. I have moms that come into my practice and say, can you talk to her about her? And they don't know how to say the words. So I think, you know, teaching middle school students to say period and vagina and about all this is fine. I can't see my family playing it on Sunday night game. I know, night maybe one. Right? It's not gonna replace Monopoly, I don't yeah. think so. I, is that little thing that looks like a uterus and tubes, is that the spinner? Apparently it is, and the marbles, you know, drop out of the ovaries like eggs, right down the center there. And you can even get stuck with the PMS when you're playing. Really? Yeah, that's I would like hate go, that. So that's like go to jail, do not pass go, go. You're gonna get that it lasts PMS. Forever. Wow. And that begs the question: what, what are your thoughts on the best way to to teach the birds and the bees sex education? These things. Mm. You know, we talk about it on the show quite a bit, what's appropriate, what's inappropriate. Is it more something that should be done at home or something done at school or both? Well, I think it is both. You definitely want to teach your kids before they're going to learn about it in school. So that way they're not shocked in the classroom, you know, the first time. And Getting I think the, it, a lot of the shocks yes, it really depends on the child. And usually I tell parents, just answer their questions. You know, don't give them more information than they need at that age. Going back to having boys, I have three boys and they are getting older, so it is about time for me to sit the older one down, you know, and start talking about some of these things before he learns it at school in the locker room. Well, and the takeaway here is don't be afraid to talk to your kids about these things because if you don't, their friends will, and we know how accurate those that discussions are. information.